Something is happening right now. The world is bending in front of us. Humans have created something so advanced, so powerful, that if we aren't careful, it could get away from us. Something that could outsmart us, outwork us, outlive us. This year, we could see human history warped as we open a can of worms we may not be ready for. Apple is buying up all of the AI companies. Critics have been surprised that Apple appears to be falling behind when it comes to AI. How do you respond? I don't, I don't believe you are. Not too worried. They have been eyeing the AI space for quite some time now. I mean, Siri, with all of its flaws, was still one of the first uh, AI-adjacent <laughs> smart assistants to ever hit mass market. And that was all the way back in 2011 on the iPhone 4S. Clearly, Apple has always had a horse in this race. Naturally, everyone else caught up. And by caught up, I mean just absolutely passed Apple so fast, they lapped them even. Especially Google with the Google Assistant, who to this day absolutely runs laps around Siri in pretty much every way. I'm pretty sure the whole meme of Siri being absolutely useless was started right around the time that Siri was announced. So, you know, uh, not the best comparison. <laughs> However, it wasn't until the massive rise of our friendly neighborhood chat GPT that all the other major tech players jumped onto the AI bandwagon in a major way. I honestly couldn't even list all of the chat GPT-like assistants that have popped up seemingly overnight from major players like Microsoft, Google, of course, Samsung even. I mean, dude, even your local car dealership was dabbling with AI. And that did not go, <laughs> did not go well. And now, of course, everyone's wondering, uh, what about Apple? Are they gonna also do the... Turns out, yes. Uh, they are just way more quiet about it like they usually are. Apple, you could say, is very interested. Quiet as they may be, wheels have been turning and ho 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 honey, they have been turning so hard. In this report from Statista, a global data and business information gathering platform, we've learned that Apple has acquired over 30, that's three zero, AI-centric startups throughout 2023 alone. People, that is 30 plus entire companies, startups or not. 30 whole companies in one year. That's like one a week. In fact, Apple is leading in startup acquisitions compared to other companies like Google, Meta, and Microsoft. Statista's financial analyst, Edith Reeds, puts it into perspective. Apple is making sizable deals with many AI startups, putting it in a good spot for future tech developments, even as its competitors, Microsoft and Google, make considerable investments in already established AI companies. By acquiring promising AI startups, Apple gains access to top tier talent and innovative technologies and consolidates its foothold in crucial AI domains, ensuring a competitive edge in the rapidly evolving tech landscape. And like, obviously, this is how it works, right? Apple has been known to acquire startups since, I don't know, forever-ish. But the difference here is what these acquisitions are going to end up powering. Look at the other main players. Google already unveiled Bard, their own assistant that's now called Google Gemini or something, whatever. Microsoft integrated Bing AI almost immediately into search, and now it has image generation capabilities. And let's not even talk about the AI things, the pins and stuff. Let's, can we, we can just not there. This is all well and good. It makes perfect sense for how these other companies function. But why is Apple so damn quiet? Well, the answer to that question lies somewhere in looking at just how many startups Apple has been acquiring if we compare that to, say, the competition. And yep, that, that yes, uh, that is quite the difference. Uh, and it is in that difference that we find our answer. I feel like I've said so many words, but we somehow haven't scratched the surface at the same time. We have a lot more to talk about after today's sponsor. Hey, all the men in my family, bald as shit. That's why for the last seven years, I have been personally subscribed to Keeps. Keeps is an online subscription service that makes it easy and affordable to treat hair loss, or more importantly, keep the hair that you have. I started taking Keeps before I ran into trouble, and I'm pretty sure that's why I still look like a sex god. Get expert care for hair loss from the comfort of your home without ever visiting a doctor's office or pharmacy. All treatment plans are personalized and sent right to your door on your schedule, and typically cost less than traditional 
national pharmacy prices. Keeps offers both of the FDA-approved hair loss treatment options as well as a super convenient two-in-one gel that combines them both. So whether you're looking to prevent hair loss or stimulate new hair growth, go to the place that has saved my hair for the last seven years. That's keeps.com slash front page tech. And remember, hair loss stops with keeps. Get it? Because you keep, you keep it? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, welcome back. Okay, so for us to understand just how massive a move like this is, Apple planning for AI in their ecosystem, we have to look no further than their most recent product, Vision Pro. While we've been hard at work on our own Vision Pro review, so much has become clear about the device and how Apple has been operating all along. You see, AI, like Vision Pro, Vision OS, the whole thing, has been being worked on for an insanely long time. So long, in fact, that there are so, so many breadcrumbs and pieces at play already that will all make more sense once the new thing is unveiled. Take something super simple, and I'm talking like very super surface level. Let's take a look at Apple's own product pages on their website. How long has Apple had the ability to view these products with AR in your space? Here's a hint, L long time, many years. It's been years. Sam and I just discovered this on a recent episode of Genius Bar, our podcast. Literally in the episode, we just somehow stumbled into being able to load AR models from Apple's website from within Vision Pro. What an incredible experience to just happen on accident. We're talking crazy level of detail and accurate reflections off of these AR models, almost, almost like it was the plan all along. And while we all thought it was this nifty little thing to just use your iPhone camera and put a cute little MacBook on your table, wow, look at that. Apple was secretly planting the breadcrumbs for an incredible Vision Pro experience right under our noses. Things like that with Apple don't happen on accident, do they? Listen, I'm not even saying that Google or Microsoft is doing a bad job with how they implement AI. That's just the way they operate. But it's not how Apple operates. Why am I talking like this? Apple has been placing AI breadcrumbs everywhere just without calling it AI. But machine learning is present in so much of what they're doing right now. We have Siri, machine learning is a large part of how Face ID works. Or how about the Photos app with photo recognition and organization? How about taking those photos? The neural engine in the camera app is nuts. The keyboard within iOS, especially within the last year or so, is littered. We could even mention the noise awareness part of AirPods. That's crazy by itself. Apple Maps also uses AI. All right, listen, guys, the signs are there. Something big is coming. Okay, hang with me. The following is a quote from Steve Jobs from an interview he did with Fortune Magazine from all the way back in 2008. That's three years before we got Siri. That's 16 years ago. All right, things happen fairly slowly, you know? They do, these waves of technology. You can see them way before they happen and you just have to choose wisely which ones you're going to surf. If you choose unwisely, then you can waste a lot of energy. But if you choose wisely, it actually unfolds fairly slowly. It takes years. Listen, you know at this point, if you've been watching the show for more than just this episode, you know how I feel about AI. It's, it's equally incredible and terrifying, all right? And at some point, maybe not right now, it's gonna kill us all. <laughs> so no, no, no pressure, not to scare you or anything. Uh, but for now, what I really appreciate with Apple's approach to AI is they, it's not just the Wild West. They're putting guardrails on how AI is used in their platforms and their ecosystem. And you gotta believe that when they pull the trigger on AI fully, and I would imagine we're going to see a very, very good look at how they're going to do that this dub dub, this year, like this summer. When they pull the trigger on that, it's going to change everything. Whatever is coming, whatever they're working on, they are very confident about it. In this interview with CNBC, when asked if they were worried about how far ahead their competitors are in regards to AI, they literally laughed. Critics have been surprised that Apple appears to be falling behind when it comes to AI. How do you respond? I don't, I don't believe we are. Not too worried. Not too worried. 
Guys, that is not a normal laugh. That is an evil, we have something up our sleeves laugh. Think about just how intertwined the Apple ecosystem already is. iOS, Mac OS, iPad OS, Watch OS, and now Vision OS. All of the cards are set up, the pieces, in place, when Apple is ready to show us what they've been cooking, what they've been working on for even a longer period than Vision Pro, it will finally all make sense. And once this can of worms has been opened, good or bad, there may not be any going back.